this is one of the most important topic in the chapter of structure of atom let us first learn the significance of quantum numbers that means important of quantum numbers see the quantum numbers are important because they can be used to determine the electronic configuration of an atom and the probable location of the atom's electrons quantum numbers are also used to determine other characteristics of atoms such as ionization energy and the atomic radius we discuss these qualities of an, ele an electron in the next chapter that is classification of elements so by this the quantum numbers are very important to understand the location of an electron in its orbit or orbital so, so there are some types of quantum numbers let us try to know them the first one is principal quantum number it is denoted by small n the second one is angular momentum quantum number this can also be called as azimuthal quantum number the third one is magnetic quantum number and the last one is spin quantum number so in this class we are going to discuss about these four quantum numbers let us try to learn one by one the first one principal quantum number so this principal quantum number is explained and derived by niels bohr we have discussed bohr's derivation of structure of an atom so it was explains about the size and energy of the orbital this is a very important point so the principal quantum number gives the information about the size and energy of an orbital so it is represented by small n it is uh, the principal quantum number is represented by a letter small n so small n can have only positive integers like 1 2 3 4 5 and so on like this as n increases the size of the shell also increases that means as the value of n increases its size also increases for example if n is equals to 1 it is it has only one shell if n is equals to 2 it has two shells if n is equals to 3 it has three shells like that if the value of n increases the size of the atom also increases that means the size of the shell also increases the number of electrons in a shell is given by 2n square this is the important point that we need to remember here uh, to find the number of electrons in a shell we have to use this formula that is 2n square for example if you want to find the number of electrons in first shell substitute 1 in the place of n then we get the value 2 so in first shell that is in k shell we have only two electrons if you substitute 2 instead of n you get 8 that means in the second shell there is place for eight electrons like that to find the number of electrons in a particular shell we need to use the formula 2n square now we move to another quantum number that is angular momentum quantum number so this angular momentum quantum number is explained by sommerfeld it is denoted by the letter small l the values of small l starts from 0 
and up to n minus 1 that is 1 less than the principal quantum number. It gives the information about shape of an orbital. Very important point to remember. So the angular momentum no, angular momentum quantum number gives the information about the shape of an orbital. So there are different shapes for orbitals. For example, S orbital is in spherical shape, P orbital is in dumbbell shape, D orbital is in double dumbbell shape, and the shape of F orbital is not defined yet. If L is equals to 0, it indicates S orbital. If L is equals to 1, it indicates P orbital. If L is equals to 2, it indicates D orbital. And if L is equals to 3, it indicates F orbital. Orbitals have same value of N, but different values of L. For example, for the value of 3, for n, that is if n is equals to 3, here we get 3 values for L, that is 0, 1 and 2. That means, if there is same value of n, there are different 3 values for L in the third shell. Like that, the value of is n same for some, or some orbitals, some suborbitals and L value changes. Now we move to the another quantum number that is magnetic quantum number. So in the previous class we have discussed about the Zeeman effect and Stork effect. So to explain the Zeeman effect and Stork effect we need to know about the magnetic quantum number. It is denoted by ML. It explains the orientation of orbitals. That means the arrangement of orbitals in an orbit, initial. The values of ML are integers between minus L and plus L, including 0. Thus, for a certain value of L, there are 2L plus 1 values. If L is equals to 1, 2L plus 1 becomes 3. That means ML has 3 values, namely minus 1, 0 and plus 1. The orientation of these 3 suborbitals is along X, Y and Z axis. And these are labeled as Px, Py and Pz. Next we move to another quantum number, that is, spin quantum number. It was introduced by Uhlenbeck and Goudsmit. It is denoted by the letter ms. This quantum number refers to the two possible orientations of the spin of an electron. One is clockwise and it is uh, denoted by the upward arrow mark and the other one is anti-clockwise. It is denoted by downward arrow mark. The spin motion of the electrons are represented by plus half and minus half. That means if it is in clockwise direction, its value will be plus half. If it is in anti-clockwise direction, its value will be minus half. 